So by now, we all know that Indiana Jones 5 didn't open to very good reviews, sitting at 56% by critics on Rotten Tomatoes and 46% by top critics. <laughs> And what's insane about that number is that we know that most critics want to leave a good review, especially for a studio like Disney, because the more good reviews they give, the more they're invited back for early screenings of big films. So the fact that they gave this movie a bad review and it's only at 56% with all critics says a lot about this film. But somehow Hollywood seems to think that we can't see these reviews, as countless articles have come out saying that Indiana Jones 5 is going to be a big box office success, and that Indiana Indiana Jones 5 is spectacular and great, even though critics have called it boring, safe, and overall wacky, which is something we should come to expect now with recent Disney projects. And I think we all knew that they'd be playing it safe, as Disney does nothing but play it safe with all of their films, trying to pander to the correct political side, and also trying to be as inclusive as possible, even though they seem to miss the mark on every single film they make. But we could have at least expected them to somewhat entertain the audience. I mean, how how you can make an Indiana Jones film that's boring, I have no idea, as the pure nature of the Indiana Jones franchise is everything but boring, as it's constant chase scenes, it's constant action, and it's an overall really interesting story with Harrison Ford leading the front, who's also a spectacular box office draw and a spectacular actor. So I don't know how this movie can come across as boring, but the fact that most critics are calling this film really, really boring, some even calling it a snooze fest, says a lot about the film and really shows that Disney really missed the mark on this movie. But in a last minute attempt to try and save this film at the box office, Hollywood has put out countless articles saying that it's brought back the old indie and that the old franchise has come back with Indiana Jones 5 and that it seems like a movie that rivals the first trilogy and is on par with Indiana Jones 2. And I think it's absolutely laughable that they can sit there and say that this has brought back the old Indiana as we can clearly see that that ship has saved a long time ago, as Harrison Ford is officially an elderly man, and there is no way that he's able to play the character the same way he could in the first three movies, so the fact that they're even writing this in articles shows that they have no interest in telling the truth and are doing complete marketing for Disney to try and save this movie at the box office, when everyone knows this movie is about to flop, and about to flop really big. But what I find really funny is that just a week ago, Hollywood is putting out countless articles saying that negative reviews at an early screening usually leads to big box office numbers because everyone wants to see why the movie's so bad and that all these negative toxic reviews are actually going to help this movie make money, then why all of a sudden are they trying to sell the film? I thought the movie was going to make heaps of money, so why do they need to come out with more articles saying that the film is great and that everyone needs to go watch it because it's the old Indiana? I thought they could have just left it alone because apparently toxic negative reviews lead to huge box office numbers, but I think they did did crunch the numbers and saw that this film's actually in risk of not even making a profit, which would be the second Disney film in a row that's not been profitable, so I think they realised they had to come out and start lying to try and promote this film, which is honestly really sad to see that Disney has come to this point, but I guess that's the state of the world we're in, where Disney now has to grovel for your attention. And look, I get the fact that the studio needs to make a profit, and that they've probably gone to these Hollywood articles and asked them to try and give it a good review, so that the movie can be profitable. I understand it's a business at the end of the day and they need to market the film the best way possible, but only if they listened to the fans in the first place, then they wouldn't have been in this position right now where they have to lie because the fans were telling them they don't want to see an Indiana Jones 5. When this project was rumored a few years ago, so many people came out saying, please don't do this. Just let bygones be bygones and don't make Indiana Jones 5. No one wants to watch it. But then what did Disney do? Oh, let's Let's make an Indiana Jones 5. And let's not stop there. Let's bring in Indiana Jones' niece and make her the star of the show. Because all anyone wants to see when they go to an Indiana Jones movie, which they don't want to see in the first place, is Indiana Jones' niece leading the pack and showing who's the real stoic, strong hero in this story. It's not Indiana, it's Phoebe Waller-Bridge. So they did the complete opposite of what fans were asking them to do. And this seems to be a running theme with Disney. But what I don't understand is that 
that they continue to do this and then have to grovel for your attention and then have to lie to try and market their movie and then get really annoyed and start calling the fans toxic because they're not watching their movie. I don't understand it. The fans are being as nice as possible. They came out years ago and said, please don't make this movie. So then when you make the movie and then the fans say they don't want to watch it and don't want to go to the cinema and spend their own hard-earned money watching a movie that they told you not to make, you then go and call them toxic or sexist or rude or bigoted. I mean, seriously, just listen to the fans in the first place and you wouldn't be in this position where they now have to lie to try and make a profit. So like I said, I understand they need to market the movie. I understand they need to make a profit somehow, but if only they listened to the fans and told an original story rather than Indiana Jones 5 that no one wants to watch, then they would be profitable. But they're digging themselves a bigger grave here by just not listening to the exact audience that they're trying to target. It doesn't make sense from a business perspective, and it certainly doesn't make sense from a financial perspective. So honestly, I just don't understand this film at all. But the financial situation of Disney might actually be worse than we think. As in the last 24 hours, we've seen countless articles by studios saying that they need to bring down budgets and that they can't afford to spend as much money on movies anymore due to the current financial climate of America. Because audiences aren't going out to watch as many movies just because they can't afford it, and studios aren't making as much money to warrant these huge blockbuster films they keep putting out and to keep pumping huge amounts of money into their budgets. So the fact that Disney continue to pump in hundreds of millions of dollars on every film and that recent movies haven't made that much profit or been profitable at all says a lot about where Disney's at and says that Disney could be facing a really bad financial period over the coming years. Because Netflix and other streaming studios have come out and said they're going to focus more on original projects and smaller budget, more nuanced drama films rather than big blockbusters where they have to pump in a lot of money for the budget and then also a lot of money for the marketing where they just don't have that money anymore. So they're focusing on smaller budget films. And in my opinion, this could be a really good thing because this could bring back the Hollywood drama that we all loved. We all used to love to go and watch great written dramatic films from directors like Scorsese, from Christopher Nolan and Tarantino. Yet recently, all we've got is these big Marvel blockbusters and this big action film. And all of them seem to pander to a specific political side on the spectrum. Whereas what we used to get was great dramatic realistic films that we could all enjoy. And I think studios are going to go back to that because they see that that's a more financially stable model. And in the current financial climate of America, that's able to make more of a profit than these big budget projects that Disney seem to be working on. So I'm happy that we're going to get more projects like that. But what I am worried about is if Disney are able to survive this. As other studios have picked up on this earlier and are going to start making cuts from this day forward. Whereas Disney, they seem to not be listening to fans and they seem to be cutting staff rather than cutting their budgets. So I think if Disney continue down this path for another year or two, it might be too late for them to start drawing back and to start cutting down on their budgets to try and be financially profitable because they might have dug themselves too big of a grave to climb out of. And I think they definitely bit off more than they can chew by buying Marvel and buying Star Wars and Indiana Jones because they kind of ran those franchises into the ground. And I don't think they made as much profit as they thought they would, definitely off Star Wars and also off Marvel. And I think they realized they put out way too much content and did not make enough money back from that. So I don't know if they're in a great position to survive this current financial stressful situation in America. So as we've seen with other studios, they're going to start making cuts and they're going to start to be profitable again in a year or two. But Disney, they're in such a big hole. I don't really know if they can climb out of this. And the fact that they continue to not listen to fans says a lot about where they're at and really shows that they're blind to the situation. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think they'll be able to climb out of this grave that they dug themselves? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.